Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have re-signed kicker Ryan Suckup to a contract. Again, I don't have the specifics of said contract. I will put those down in the comment section below once I see them, but the point being is that Ryan Suckup is returning to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and this is huge news. Um, There are a lot of new Bucks fans coming in from a lot of different walks of life and a lot of different backgrounds and whatnot. And at the end of the day, I'm perfectly happy with that because we're all rooting for the same team to succeed. There's no problem there. But for the fans who are just coming in, this means a lot to Bucks fans who have been around for a little bit in terms of bringing back a kicker who was actually good. Ryan Suckup over 90% in terms of both his field goal percentages and his extra point percentages. Probably the best season from a kicker in Tampa Bay Buccaneers franchise history. I don't think that that would be a stretch to say. And man, it feels good for Ryan Suckup to come back to this team. And I know I've been saying that about all of the re-signings, but hey, we just won the Super Bowl, that being the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So yeah, I'm going to celebrate the Buccaneers getting back some of their players who helped them win that Super Bowl, Ryan Suckup being one of them. So this is huge news again uh, for Bucks fans who have been around for a little bit of time. Man, the kicking problems have been so, so bad. And I know there's going to be some doubters out there who say, ah, oh, man, come on, James, it's just a kicker. They're easy to replace. You would think so, but the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are uh, snake-bitten, cursed, if you will, in terms of uh, finding a consistently good kicker. It has taken them so many freaking years in countless kickers. I've lost track of how many kickers the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have cycled through throughout the mid, uh, you know, 2000s, the 2010s, and now into the 2020s. They finally got their kicker. Oh my gosh, took us took them long enough, am I right? But in all seriousness, yeah, this is huge for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They finally got a guy who gave him enough consistency and a darn good season to prove that, hey, he's worth extending. He's worth keeping around. Now, there have been some guys who have had some good times. Pat Murray, uh, Connor Barth, etc. You know, uh, that might just be it, to be honest. But the point is, is that a good kicker for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers does not come around very often in recent times. And, hey, Ryan Suckup proved that he can go out there and he can make kicks uh, with the best of them. He really was one of the better kickers in the entire league throughout the entirety of the 2020 season and I am ecstatic to have him back. Um, I don't know how long he'll play. I mean, kickers can play for a really long time. Adam Venateri, uh, he's playing still technically, and he's 48 years old. Ryan Suckup, I believe he's 34. Maybe if he gets on that TB12 method, does some pliability, keeps his body in good shape. I mean, heck, you know, if he's consistent enough and he continues to be a very solid kicker, he might be the Buccaneers guy for a good chunk of years here. We'll have to wait and see on that end. But right now, as it stands, Ryan Suckup is coming back back. This is huge to bring him back. He was consistent. He was electric. He was making sure that momentum was not falling out of the hands of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers team because that can be very demoralizing. That can swing momentum having missed field goals and missed opportunities to get points on the board. Ryan Suckup for the most part made sure that that did not happen and hey that's what you want from your kicker is somebody you can go out there and make their kicks and Ryan Suckup did that. So I'm all happy over here and I think a lot of people are going to feel the exact same way. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts about this move down in the comment section below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Give me your reasons as to why you like it or why you hate it down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoy. Now I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.